day we've got inside um, classroom activities for referees, for club administrators and for coaches um, and that extends on to, to practical sessions for coaches and then football right the way through the age group so we've got an FA skills session for 5 to 11 year olds, uh, we've got recreational football in partnership with Millwall, girls football with um, Dalmain Football Club um, and, and up to walking football um, generally uh, the sort of 40 to 50 plus age group in partnership with a, a few local sessions that we run in and around the borough. Day to day is predominantly 16 plus, so it's getting anyone over 16 involved with football, males, females, uh, disabilities, uh, up to walking football, you've probably seen a lot of that. And then the bigger picture of the role is linking in uh, uh, for London FA for grassroots football, so it's volunteers and coaches and just supporting people throughout the grassroots game. I've not really played the game as such, I've, I've tended to end up playing tournaments because they come up on my inbox so I just come and think myself, well that's a great idea, what a great thing to do on a Sunday morning uh, to just come and play football. Well as Trevor is our organiser, he's got a lot of us ex-old players to come back again and just get back into the love of playing the game. And it is that, it's that thing about the game is so simple and the fact is that you can still play it still competitively yeah. but without, without, without no yeah. nastiness and, and no viciousness yeah. involved in it. It's just trying to offer free sessions to get girls interested if they haven't played football before but even if they have just to keep up their football during the summer. Ali was um, pretending to be a defender. I was starting at the centre and I had the ball and I was running um, towards the goal and then Ali was like being a defender so I had to use some skills to try and score. My favourite thing is when I get to be in the position I want to be. I like doing stuff like killing people up. Yeah, it's been a good, good event, this is our first year. AJ's been playing football about a year now. I'm a late starter but um, yeah, he's managed to make it into the Dynamo team and, and yeah, this, this is his third tournament. So. Wow. For us, it, it's get, getting out there, uh, it's getting out there in the community. As you'll see today, we've linked in with local partners and organisations and clubs that we, quite often we deal with on a day to day basis, but through email and phone calls, it's lovely to get out and actually do something activity wise. It's great just to let people know that there are so many opportunities for them to get involved in football. Uh, sometimes people aren't aware of, of what's going on around them, but days like today, people can just drop in, see the type of stuff that we're doing all across the capital. Um, so this is just a snippet of what we do. Um, but it's great for people in Lewisham to see that they can get involved. Well, grassroots is, is everything. I mean, you, you, even you, you look all the way up to the England teams, all those players started in grassroots football. So what we're going to do is we're going to work together and we're going to look at what might support you in developing some pre-season practices for your players. The wider FA vision is that we want better players who are better decision makers, better on the ball and better when we're out of possession. All of that trickles down to grassroots football. So what we're doing here and what we're trying to empower the coaches to do is to recognise different phases of the game. What do we do when we're in possession, out of possession and that sm small minute moments in between which is called transition. I've been running the new laws of the game, talking to the referees about the new laws that came into effect on the 1st of June to make sure that they understand that when they actually go out and referee that they understand the new laws and obviously with the players they can explain it to them a lot better than what they know. Walking football people will tell you that the main part of them playing is the social is the, the psychological part of what they get out of it, is making friends, is keeping fit, is keeping active, and that's kind of a common theme for us. I know too many older people that are stuck on their own, don't talk to people one day to the next. So this is just great just to come down and just to see blokes again and just say hello.